some members of the natural world who are strange and shy. They look a bit like plants, but they possess no stems, no roots, and no leaves. Some even have gills, but they're not animals either. From slime molds to field mushrooms, this is the quirky world of the fungi. Fungi. What? Fungi. If you think about the mushroom, but try to think about it objectively, it looks to me very much like a good candidate for an extraterrestrial. My mission is to discover the language of nature of the fungal networks that communicate with the ecosystem.
I am old, older than thought in your species, which is itself fifty times older than your history. Though I have been on earth for ages, I am from the stars. My home is no one planet, for many worlds scattered through the shining disk of the galaxy have conditions which allow my spores an opportunity for life. The mushroom which you see is the part of my body given to sex thrills and sunbathing. My true body is a fine network of fibers growing through the soil. These networks may cover acres and may have far more connections than the number in a human brain. My mycelial network is nearly immortal. Only the sudden toxification of a plant or the explosion of its parent star can wipe me out. By means impossible to explain because of certain misconceptions in your model of reality, all my mycelial networks in the galaxy are in hyperlight communication across space and time. The mycelial body is as fragile as a spider's web, but the collective hypermind and memory is a vast historical archive of the career of evolving intelligence on many worlds in our spiral star swarm. Space, you see, is a vast ocean to those hardy life forms that have the ability to reproduce from spores, for spores are covered with the hardest organic substance known. Across the eons of time and space drifted many spore-bearing life forms in suspended animation for millions of years until contact is made with a suitable environment.